I showed up at nine in the morning for an ego massage, not to talk about my co-stars. Ooh, ah, oh. Henry Thomas. He has stories and jokes for days. Oh, Rahul, didn't you just take a road trip with Katie Parker? Oh my God, yeah, technically, yeah, yeah we did. They did um, the movie Next Exit. It's coming out November 4th. Wow. No, but I didn't make a good road trip buddy. No, I didn't right. say you. This I is... said Katie Parker. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was I was miserable. <laughs> I didn't talk to anyone. It was headphones and I sat there like that as we went through. So I'm not a good, but Kate, Katie Parker was a good road trip buddy. Sam has that great comparison of Hamish and Zach because they oh, right, drove from I Canada. Drove with them. You know, I was just thinking about how many terrible road trip buddies there are in the the Flanniverse. Kate, you have the Haunting of Hill House Road 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 trip oh with no you and your sisters and then there's also poppy corn and uh freedom jack in uh midnight club just don't get in a car with anybody from any of these shows is what i'm saying but like who has the best taste in music because that's i think the secret to a road trip buddy is someone who can be quiet but like you know on a road trip it's not necessarily about the most fun it's about the person you can be quiet with and like listen to a podcast or like listen to music with i'm gonna throw truco out there oh truco truco i'm gonna throw truco because truco would be like hey you see over there there's this there's these cliffs that you can you know he knows everything about every landscape yeah and he's always down to like do some weird side trip like where you jump and you make sure you like ate at the right times and like And he's really hot. So if we got pulled over by police, I'd let him talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a haunted hayride. Um, oh, who would I choose? Syrian. I, he would jump. I think he would jump at everything and that would make me laugh. Oh, it's Matt. Matt. Matt Bidell. Matt Bidell. So last year we did um, Halloween Horror Nights with Matt Bidell. And he was so scared he hit the floor and he couldn't move he just curled up in a little ball and he is a big guy and at the time he was training for a project so like he looked like an Abercrombie model from the 90s and he had (laughs) just like collapsed and could not move I would pay a lot of money to go on a haunted hayride with Matt to be fair I'm too scared I I went on that that was too much for me the adrenaline drove me crazy whoever could yeah protect me Matt Matt Fido Ooh. Mm. I'd fall in love with a supernatural creature. I'm going to say Rahul Kelly. He's going to hate me for that. <laughs> Do you guys remember Violet McGraw? Violet played young, young. Nelly. Yeah. Yeah. And like a really sweet Casper story. Oh. Oh, yeah. That would be really sweet. Let's do a deep dive. <laughs> Who's the most like free, like least judgmental kind of like wouldn't like do you know what i mean like who is the most open carla oh. who's got like the spirit that lets do you know what i mean that would let yes. someone like doesn't care i know it's a ghost i know it's scary but they have a good yeah. heart that's it would yeah. be carla, right? carla yeah 100 percent. i think ruth ruth see it because she's like okay i'll do it that's me daring attempting a terrible irish accent oh man Mike. Yeah, I was going to say Mike. And he'd make you stay as well, right? <laughs> he would make me stay. He'd talk yeah. you, yeah. <laughs> it's both of you. He'd talk a lot of us into thinking it was a great idea. I'd be there for like 45 minutes for sure. <laughs> like a real haunted house. And Mike would be like, this is great. And the rest of us are just banging on the walls. But wherever we go, like if we ever stay at a haunted hotel, Mike is always like, what's the most haunted room? And I'd like that one, please. From all those little tours you've done and stuff in all those rooms, has anything ever happened? Ever? Like even the smallest, like there was a knock or it got chilly? That's a great question. I think I need to outsource that to a friend of mine. Hello. Hello. Hey, it's Samantha Sloyan and Rahul Kohli. What are you weirdos doing? We wanted to know, have you ever had anything ever happen in any of these haunted rooms? Has anything ever? Never, ever. And I have I have waited up. And I'm not kidding. I have stayed up till four in the morning. The first time at the Stanley, I did the whole thing. There's a, there's a gag there where you buy this very old hard candy. And there's supposed to be ghost kids in the hall of the very top floor and you close your eyes in the middle of the night and you hold out the candy and you're supposed to feel little fingers kind of pecking at it. And I did that for literally more than two hours. (laughs) (laughs) And nothing happened. So yeah, I've I've never, I've never seen anything, but some people tell me. Not uh, even the staff came in to wonder what you was doing. (laughs) 
dude standing in the corridor with candy. I've confused the staff, and I think I bewildered Jason Blum, who was on that trip. <laughs> I keep signing up for the ride, you know, I'm, I'm That's how they it. sucker yeah. you in, Mike. They're going to keep you going, because once you've experienced it, you're done, right? Yeah. So but this they... is how the tourism works. Oh, Kate Seagull. Oh, Kate. Yeah, Kate. Yeah. And now, that woman has got style for days. Oh, Sam. Sam's those great parties. Just the, her ability to uh, create spaces with people. Definitely not Rahul Cody. Probably just get, like, a bag of chips. <laughs> I have a candidate for party, Moffat. Yeah. Louis Moffat. Yeah. There was a lot of poker nights and, and, and beer nights and stuff like that. And that there'd would, be a lot of music and stuff. That'd be great. A lot of music and he'd bring out the guitar and oh, stuff. Yeah, like that's it. better. He was consistently... Sorry, Sam. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Louis. Man. Ah, I think I know. Tahira. Tahira would throw because there would be like good food. There'd like be Pakistani food, there'd be Jamaican food. Like the tunes would be ton up. Like we'd all be dancing. Yeah. To hear it. Who's a straight up liar is the question. Who would just be like, no, thank you? I don't think anyone would deny that this senior old ghost. Maybe Trevor Macy, one of our producers. Maybe Trevor Macy, he's like so cool at school. I feel Ruth? Ruth, yeah, Ruth, Ruth would is totally a great one. be like, yeah, Ruth no. Would... <laughs> <laughs> she would tell the ghost too. Ruth would just be like, no, thank you, sir. <laughs> then the ghost would be yeah. like, oh, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. Oh, immediately, and Sam. That girl, she's small, but in Jamaica, Talawa, which means strong. Yeah, she looks like Talawa. I mean, it is, man. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. It's going to be Mark Hamill. Oh! Why wouldn't you want Luke Skywalker stroke the Joker by your side? When well, that's a British way of saying it. You just said stroke the Joker, and you mean like backslash. And I <laughs> was like, what? <laughs> Who's got no self-awareness? Rahul Cody. Why is everybody ignoring me? Like, what the f am I? He would not realize. I think I might. I might just be like, oh, they didn't hear me. I would like to watch Kristen Lehman figure out that she was a ghost. Because, like, I feel like she's so self-aware, it would be particularly funny if she missed something as big as she is dead. Oh, Mike Flanagan, hands down. Yeah, something so obscure that no one's ever watched except for, like, maybe three other people on the planet. He would know about it, like, and he would know like the details about it and the shots. Oh, you know who does this? Molly Quinn. Oh, Molly really? Quinn, who is an yeah, usher, yeah, yeah. loves uh, like deep dive. The on horror, movies. yeah, the horror genre. Uh huh. She'll she'll find some good horror movies. It's because it's so obviously Mike. It's hard to not top. Yeah, it would be. I don't think anyone does recommend horror except for Mike. I think Essa might come up with some something like That's some movie <gasps> from somewhere. That's a good shout. Well, let's go with Esso because Esso is like so well versed in anime and Asian cinema. I, I know she has some horror picks from Asian cinema that would probably be absolutely yeah. terrifying. Yeah, I yeah. think that's really true. All right, we're going to go with Esso again. I feel bad because I know we're missing so many cast members who we haven't shouted out. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get picked for a single one. I'm going to say Rahul Cody. Rahul Cody. I showed up at nine in the morning for an ego massage, not to talk about my co-stars. <laughs> for spooky season, I think you need to pick movies and shows that you can watch with friends. I think that's what separates it from the rest of the year. It's the best when you are with a group and you can scream at the screen and throw popcorn and just laugh your little faces off. Um, I'm with Kate on that. I would also, I know we're still in this Nobody knows the situation, but when you can and when you feel good about it, I also recommend going and supporting your small theaters that are running the old great movies and they're doing the midnight shows and the double features because when you're in a group like that, of people who really appreciate it and are there to have a great time, it's so much fun. And if you got to keep going to those things, that they're going to keep being able to do them. You don't have to just stick to one medium. You can enjoy so many various outlets of horror and get it all week long. You can be listening to podcasts, audio books, playing horror video games, doing horror parties, go dressing up. It's that you can really kind of like OD on spookums for a week. And I think that's what makes it special. Spookums is the best. I love it. <laughs>